Hello, my name's Mark Blythe. I've been asked to give a couple of minutes on Greece, a topic which obviously deserves, at this particular moment, more than a couple of minutes. But what can you usefully say? So I'm sitting in Berlin. Let's think about things from the point of view of people in Berlin. Hundreds of millions of euros have been lent or otherwise given guaranteed or some other form to the Greek state in order to keep them in the euro. And now they want a renegotiation of terms. We often hear that people should pay their debts. And I suppose in the abstract that makes sense. But let's try and think about this in a slightly different mode. Simply as a question of welfare economics, let alone morality. It's not clear that people should pay their debts. Imagine the following. If the cost of paying the debts is perpetual debt servitude, you never clear the principle of the debt. You're only ever paying the interest. If the policies that are being forced upon you have shrunk your economy by a third and will continue to do so, then it becomes quite rational, if not reasonable, for the people bearing those costs to say, we don't want to bear them anymore. Now, on the other hand, that violates the spirit and letter of the agreements that has been signed. And there's a risk that if we open this up, Irish promissory notes and Portuguese austerity and everything else comes on to the chopping block too. It's not clear where to go. We have a set of preferences here in Berlin, which quite reasonable locally, are perhaps disastrous globally. And the reverse is true for Athens. What's reasonable for them locally could be seen from here as a disaster globally. So how do we use the old analogy of the immovable object and the irresistible force? It is perhaps useful to think of this as a case of insolvency. We have insolvency regimes in capitalist societies all over the world. We have bankruptcy. We have bankruptcy reorganization. We have multiple modes in the United States, Chapter 7, Chapter 11. We also have this in international debt resolution regimes. There hasn't actually been a debt workout of any country in the 20th century that hasn't involved some type of forgiveness, relief, reorganization of the debt, reduction of principal, further haircuts, even exotic schemes called Brady Bonds. Yet none of this seems to be on the table at the moment for Greece. It's either pay up, even if you can't, or we're out, even if we don't want to. It would be nice to think that those people in charge in both Berlin and Athens realise that two non-compromises create a zone of agreement which is empty. But maybe they don't. We'll find out very soon how the Greek drama will end. Let us hope that we look back on this as a comedy rather than a tragedy.